Hello there, welcome to this training session from Computer Tutoring. What we're going to look at this time is creating an organization chart automatically by using the Visio organization chart wizard. So before we get into Visio, I just wanted to show you the data and how the data should be arranged if you want this wizard to work. Now, I've got an Excel spreadsheet here. Let me just zoom in so I can show you a little bit more detail here. Now, if you look at the top, notice all the column headers are filled in. Now, the way that Visio creates the organization chart is it takes the employee ID and the report to column. And so what it does is it looks down and it finds the report to, so in this case, number one, and finds uh, that equivalent in the employee ID column. So in this case here, Susan, Susan Fine will appear underneath Joseph Goldberg because she reports directly to employee number one. Same with Laura Jennings and Claire Hector and so on. So it's just something to bear in mind. The other thing as well is notice I've made a slight adjustment to the standard organizational chart data that you can get with the installation of Physio. I've added employee ID whereas the original installation file used name and that's not too reliable. Say you get two people with the same name, say Claire Hector comes on in, in there twice, then it's not Visio's not going to know which Claire Hector other people are reporting to if there's more than one Claire Hector. So in that case we just need to make sure that every employee has a unique identity. So let's just zoom out. Now, okay, so that's so far so good. Now we've got this uh, saved as an XLS file, which is fine. So what I'm just going to do is close down the Excel file. So I'm back into Visio. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to business in Visio. And then we're going to choose the organization chart wizard and metric because we're in the UK. Click on create and then the organization chart wizard dialog box appears. So first, what I want to do is I want the information that's already stored in a file or database. So I'm going to click on Next. My organization information is stored in a text, org plus, or a Excel file, which we have. So that's fine. Make sure that's OK. Then click on Next. This is the standard file location for the org data file that you get within the installation folder of Physio. So make a little note of that. And I'll give you a couple of seconds. Let me just zoom in so you can see that a little bit. There we go. I'll zoom back out again. Brilliant. Uh, that's the one you can use. What I'm going to do is use the download file that you can find at the bottom of this page. Or if you're on YouTube, go to www.computertutoring.co.uk. You can click on online training, go to Excel training, and you'll find the download at the bottom of the exercise file. I'll provide a link on YouTube as well so you can find the file with ease. So I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to find my OneDrive. Where is it? Uh, up here at the top. There we go. I'm going to go to. Oops. There we go. I'm going to go to computer tutoring. I'm going to go down to and find my exercises here. Visio, and then org chart data. I've got two of them here. I'm going to use the XLS file, and then click on next. Excellent. So the next it's asking, choose the columns or fields in your data file that contain the information that defines the organization. So we've got, um, so the name of this will be the employee ID. The report to will be the report to column. And you can have the first name as well, which is option. And so this defines the structure of the organization. So I'm going to click on next. The next one is saying, what do you want to see on the display? Well, whereas I'm using employee for the structure, I don't want to see that on the display. I want to see the name and the title. So I'm just going to move the name up so it's name and title. That's what I want to see on the display. I'm only using employee ID for the structure. Click on Next. Now, each shape in Visio has shape data or information behind that shape. So what we can do is we can choose extra information for that. So we've got all of these shapes here. We're just going to add another couple. So we basically have all the information that's available in the spreadsheet on the shape in the organization chart in Visio. Click on Next. So what I want to do is I want the Visio to automatically break my organization chart across pages. But I want to choose a name at the top of the page. And at the top of the page, I'm going to choose employee number one. So that's going to be our first employee. If you remember from our Excel spreadsheet, it's Joseph Goldberg. 
and I'm just going to ensure that hyperlink employee shapes across pages and synchronize employee shapes across pages is ticked so I can easily um, navigate between the two pages. I'm going to click on finish and let the organization chart wizard do its thing. So if you note at the bottom here we have three pages. If I click on page one I can see I have Joseph Goldberg there if I just zoom in to show you. So you have Joseph Goldberg and the others here. If I scroll down and click on page two I can see the director of marketing here. If I go and then I can click on page three I can see Toby Nixon as a researcher. So there you go. It gives you a quick idea of how you can create an organization chart in Visio. You can also double click to go between to do two different pages as well or, and navigate the documents as well so I can have a quick look see. So any further questions uh, please see the website www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thanks for watching.